Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nixon, I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Siemens AS Interface Addressing Unit. This is going to be a follow-on of the previous video where we already checked out the wiring and how to set up the RAS uh, interface with our ASM Master down there for S1200 series PLC and today is uh, time to start addressing them and the key is we need this guy to be able to uh, put addresses into all of the slaves that we are using for a, uh, our particular AS interface and uh, they can be uh, quite a few per uh, setup uh, in a, well, depending very much on your application. This guy don't just add uh, address, um, uh, does the addressing. We actually, it's a very good diagnostics tool as well. There's quite a lot you can do with it. We're gonna check out uh, most of the features in there. Not most, but about a couple of features. The rest I will leave it to you. The most important is, is how to address it. And also we're gonna check out some of the features uh, when you can test the unit if it works or it doesn't. The two units we're going to be addressing today is the slimline units, the panel mount slimline units. So uh, these are the older version. There's a newer version out there already. We're going to be checking them out in a different separate videos. They come in all sorts of different types that I have left in the link in the description below where you can check out the AS range, which is massive. You can even do analog signals, digital signals and all sorts of things and safety and there is loads. So yeah, this is what we're going to do today. So the first up, let's check out how this guy works. Here we are. So the first thing we need is a uh, connector that goes into your addressing port. And obviously is, is connected into your uh, controller via a uh, M12 uh, 5 pin plug. First up will be our oh, and the memory. Memory is something uh, that you would want to use if you're using several networks of a uh, of, of your a, ASI. So uh, we're not going to be getting too much into that one, but I'm going to be showing you a couple of things, uh, more, more or less giving you an idea what memory is. So as you can see, once I plug it into it, it removes the power from uh, your uh, the I/O module, and obviously the ASI master, as you can see, is flashing red because it kills the entire network. So uh, in the next one, you can, uh, as you can see, we have a uh, uh, volts and uh, amps. It shows you how many amps this controller is using. So it's using 0 0.012 amps, completely nothing. And in here is address. The first address is address when you can change it. Let's say into let's let's say four. Let's change that. And that is it, it will change your address to the four. So now that's becoming now four instead of one. But it doesn't save it into controller. So if you go for the next uh, unit, it will not know that that fourth already been used a part, part of this uh, ASI network. So that's why it's good to use. If you just want to change address and you don't really care about the rest of the units, things like just doing one, yes, fine, just go in here. But if you have, let's say, about 15, 16 nodes, and you do want to know which, very, very, which numbers you already applied to your previous nodes, it's good to a, a use uh, address plus memory. So uh, let's go back into this one. You find that as four. So, but what? But this time we're gonna go down and change that to one. There you go. So now it has a save that in the memory and I'll show you how that works. So now that we addressed that one, so that's pretty much is done. We're going to the next one. So we're gonna go from one to another to sort of uh, reset it. And as you can see now, he knows that the first uh, first address already has been used, and our second one is only available. And he also stores them in your memory in here, and memory is zero. So it's, it's going to clear, as you can see, zero memory is holding one node. So let's go back to address plus memory. So let's program that one, add it to the address, yeah, thank you. Okay, that's it. Now it says two's been used. Next available is three. So, uh, so that's pretty much telling you now that you cannot use one and two because it has been been used and which will will not allow it. Even if you try, as you can see, it's jumping from three to zero. It's very good if you have several nodes and you want to add the system to memorize that uh, those nodes been used. So use address and memory. So that's how would addressing and memory work. 
From there on, there's of course, there's a lot more you can do because if you go into memory now, so uh, this has been a, uh, as you can see, as you clear my memory, my zero memory is in one and two, and you can move uh, you can move this data, this uh, this memory into the next memory if you want, because the working memory was always going to be zero. So uh, whichever network you're going to, whichever node uh, uh, network you're going to be going, it'll be it'll be working with the zeroth memory. So once you've finished with that network, the good idea is to a uh, uh, move. Uh, uh, move your uh, store your uh, no network which whenever you use into the next available memory so let's say we want to use this we can store it in uh, in uh, memory one so here we go that's done so uh, as you can see now if I go into a uh, uh, clear so as you can see my zero memory has got the, my my nodes in there and my number one memory has got my nodes into that one. So now I want to go into the next network. So I just want to clear my zero, uh, my zeroth uh, uh, memory, so I can work on with the next network. So uh, as you can see, my number one is holding my uh, nodes that I already work on other network. So uh, from there on, so uh, what you can do, if you return back to it, so uh, re return back to your. Uh, uh, network that you've been used and you say you want to continue working with it so you just recall it and that's that's pretty much that's then there is and then recall it and that's done so uh and then you go back as you can see when you go into clear again zero memory has got your nodes back in there and you can continue working with it hopefully that makes sense Next, let's have a look. A couple of uh, uh, diagnostics we can do. I know there is there is there there is more this uh, this uh, parameters uh, profile parameter uh, ISI safe and CTT2. We're going to be checking them in the future. Otherwise, this video is going to be dragging on forever. Once you get to that kind of application, we're going to check it out. Data. It is really really cool system you can do. So you can see it shows you I'm on node one. What you can do in here by clicking uh, up and enter, you will enter uh, the diagnostics. So you can see down there it says in one. This is my sensor in here. Since it's my, my sixth sensor in here. So as you can see, I have two signals. We're going to check out the wiring in the, in the next video, how this wiring works. As you can see, I can see how my inputs are working. So I got one normally closed, one normally open, and my sensor is pretty much jumping from on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. As you can see, I can see this is how I test my, my as you can see, it's flashing down there as well, how my uh, uh, inputs are working. You obviously, you can't, because uh, it's their physical inputs, you can't just uh, turn them on within the system. So um, from there on, you can, as you can see down there, I've got this guy, an up and down button for edit. So you can check your outputs as well. So one, as you can see, my output comes on. Two, and you can sort of, you're going to jump around, as you can see, different things turns on, different combinations, because it's a bit there, uh, bit system, things turning on together, and I think, uh, I think the F will be the all of it, yeah, there we go, and I checked all my outputs. So uh, that's pretty much when it comes down to diagnostics, hopefully that's giving you a good understanding. So obviously this is more or less like a transistor system in here. So, uh, but again, we're going to check out the wire in the next in the next video, so to give you an idea what to look for. But this, how you can use this guy in here to check your uh, controllers' uh, IOs, how they are functioning. You can monitor it, your inputs, and you can also uh, turn on and off your outputs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main thing what you would use this uh, in many aspect for it very much very much depends on your application how many how much uh, you how much of all this you use in there but if you because this video is all about addressing and understanding how this guy works more or less and uh, and, and and hopefully this is giving you a good understanding that the 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 several things the memory volts the address and address plus memory and data the rest the rest of them Let's turn this off. The rest of the rest of the things in there, we're gonna be checking out as we get to the actual application because it will be much much easier to do so. So and that, ladies and gentlemen. So let's unplug this. So as you can see, that system now should return back to normal. 
And there we go, because the address is all correct. In the next video, we're going to be checking out TI port. We're going to be checking out wiring, and we're going to check out TI portal how to start setting up the actual network tree itself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it for this video. Hopefully, it's giving you a good understanding how to get these guys going and how to test them and how to address them. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this is helpful and, and it gives you a good idea what, what you're doing now. So, yeah, don't forget to like the video if you are liking it the video if you are new to the channel and want to do want to support the channel do subscribe so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video